Hello and welcome to another ICT lesson. Today I want us to look at how we can design what we call a brochure or you can as well call it pamphlet. These are important documents especially when you are doing business you need to advertise your products and these marketing documents must be designed clearly, attractively and must convey information which is required to the potential clients. This uh, pamphlet mostly is printed in a four landscape page, then it will be folded into two. As you can see here, uh, I have two pages. This is page this is one of the page and this is one of the page which are of size A4 landscape. But since it will be folded, we will end up having four pages. One face of the paper uh, will contain the front part of the brochure. Then the left part of this will be folded backwards and it will make page four. Then the second page of a four landscape will form page two and three, which will be inside the brochure. And when we are going to print it, the, the, the printer will print on both sides of the paper. The facets will print this uh, outer a four landscape. Then the paper will be turned upside down then it will print the inner on the other side of the paper. So finally, we will only have one paper, but has four pages after folding it in the middle. I will go ahead and uh, show you how you ca we can design a brochure for a furniture shop in MS Publisher. And we will use MS Word and MS Paint to help us in the graphics and carving of text. So I am starting the three applications which I am going to use. All of them will be important for this exercise. When you open this publisher, you will look for more blank paper sizes and click. Don't double click. If you double click, it will just choose any paper size and open it for you. You just tap once, then it brings this window. So here we are going to choose a full landscape. Then you'll click create button here. Then you'll adjust the zooming. You are zooming. Now this is what we call the a four after page. This is the one which will contain the front page and the back page. So uh, the dimension for this paper is normally a uh, width is 13.89 and height is 9.84. And you can check that here. Just click page design. Then you will see size. You just choose page setup. You'll be able to see the width and the height. Now what we are going to do we will divide this um, page into two. And if I divide the width by two, I will get roughly 6.95. So in that case, I will come here, point at, the, at this ruler here. Then when it turns into a double arrow, I will just press the mouse button and move it like this. And you will see there is something appearing here. We call it guideline. Okay. That guideline is the one which we are going to use to divide this page. And this line is not permanent. It will not be seen when, when it is printed. It is just there to guide us. Then increase the zooming. So we will be designing all things inside here. Now I also want to reduce this margin 
it is very wide so I will just come to size setup and you can see margin lines are 0 0.5 so I can make them maybe 2 and make them 2 0 0.2 all of them top bottom right left so that it occupies a smaller space so the next thing I, I am going to do now is to apply uh, shading for my background and uh, I will have different shadings if it is the outer part that is front and bottom it can be different from the inner part of the paper so I will come here and just right click and choose insert duplicate page okay so this one has the guideline and even this one has the guideline I can start my design now I will click uh, the first page for the front and back go to MS Word and uh, just uh, go to insert word art and I'll just choose the first one I can call it Hanif furniture limited and I can even select reduce this size select a nice font uh, let me just look for font then I can change the I can change while it is selected like this you click format and we have what we call text field here you can change the the design or the color and then next I, I, I want to curve it I can come here to transform and maybe curve it like that I will switch back to uh, my publisher and I want to make a nice background here so I will just click here then choose uh, like that or maybe let me choose the other one but let me go with this then for the inside I don't want a background but I can just have a, I can have I can just come to shapes insert shapes and trace I can just trace here this margin line then I remove the fill then come to outline uh, just come to maybe pattern I can have a nice pattern here then uh, under color I can choose any color for the bug for the border then I can increase its weight a bit only like that so here this will be the front and back this will be the inside part now I want to put some titles here and here and I want to put it to put those design in MS Word because of the word art here I don't have word art in MS Publisher 2013 so I will just take a screenshot 
or when it is open like this i will press print screen on the keyboard there's a but uh, there's a key called print screen press it come to ms paint paste it like this then just with the select tool just stress just stress this design then only copy the selected part switch to ms word double click anywhere here below and paste now i will move this text to the front page remember the front page is on the right then i can have some uh, another heading you can just uh, come to insert word art i can write something here like uh, let me reduce the font size for more information then i will just change this color to something nice mm. uh, let me come to text fill I'll maybe choose let me try white and see how it looks here okay I can change it to something else Okay, let me just use this gray. Or I can as well <laughs> just use the brown. Okay, let me use brown. Now here, I will put some information here. Uh, using word art. Insert word art. Reduce font to smaller text then I want uh, a bullet so I can write here <laughs> maybe telephone 020 dash then I will just uh, copy this here into two control c control v and remove the first one here then i will just scan here and write here maybe email it can be info at maybe a new a new furniture dot com then make a copy v control c control v Like that. Then I will now take a screenshot of this. The way it is, just print, press the print screen button. So I just delete the previous one and paste a new one. Now I will click the select tool and move to the corner inside the inside the margin, and I'm not touching the margin to the corner. And just selecting only this section. 
then control C to copy that segment, then come to my publisher and just paint this segment here, push it at the corner, then try to open it like this. Then uh, I will do the same for this title. Select it at the corner. Control C to copy and Control V in in the publisher. And then put it at the corner there. And when you are doing this, you should ensure that this picture you are pasting rhymes with that background, such that somebody will not notice it. So I have designed the titles. I can bring pictures of furniture. I have pictures in the folder here. Probably I can start with this one, arranging it in the front. That can be a welcome picture. And then I can have other smaller pictures somewhere here. Now I can write in, in publisher here some text. Uh, I can just increase this maybe to 16. We sell on the best choices. Okay, so this text. We can choose a nice font here. Just play around. I can even come to here and look for anything good. Maybe a bit of shadow and text fill. Uh, I can just have that one. And I can, yeah, that is the front page. Here I can have some patterns. Like uh, insert shapes let me try to draw some things here and remove the outer fill always and uh, when it is fully selected fill and we choose white Let's see how it will look. Okay, can copy paste this and paste it somewhere here. Something like that. So this is the top and bottom part. I will come to the inner part and just insert pictures. I have a lot of pictures here to insert. Always reduce the size at the corners. We want to fill up this place with a lot of pictures now. Like this one with a lot of spacing, you just crop to remove the extra spacing. 
and press crop after selecting and reduce the size we can have it in the middle and to fill up this space let me just put in a chair so that things look balanced so this is the outer and this is the inner part of the brochure so now our brochure is ready we can see uh, this is the front and back and this is the inner part of the brochure ready for printing try this at home and see you next time bye bye